What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to properly utilize Light.gg. And if you guys want to see more D2 content in the form of guides, class builds, weapon and armor recommendations for PvE and PvP, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys never miss out on any videos. Okay, so if you aren't familiar with Light.gg, it is a third party website that is like a catalog for all the weapons and armor in Destiny 2. It has a role appraisal that helps you determine if the random rolls on a weapon are good or bad. Where you should use that weapon, whether it be in PvE or PvP, as well as show you what a god roll or a curated roll for any specific weapon looks like, and there isn't just one. This website will help you empty out your vault, and in doing so, you can keep the best rolls on the weapons that you have, gain consumables like legendary shards, glimmer, enhancement cores, possibly enhancement prisms, and while this is very little, you can still gain reputation with a gunsmith. So it's worth taking the time in actually doing this. I will go over light.gg as best as I can, but also put timestamps in the description if there is a specific section that you are most interested in. So let's go ahead and head over to light.gg and see how everything works. Also, if I forget to mention something, I apologize in advance. Please go ahead and put it down in the comments below. So this is light.gg. You get here by putting light.gg in the URL. Now, the very first thing I want everyone to go ahead and do is go ahead and sign in. What this will do is it will link your Bungie.net account with light.gg. This is completely safe. They will not be able to delete anything in your account. Now, at the very top, once you logged in, you will see your Bungie.net account right here. We have a couple of different sections. We have the database, which gives you access to pretty much everything in light.gg. We have a section for God roles, tools, collection, and your leaderboard. Now at the very top right here, this will let you know the current um, weapons as well as mods available in the game for the entire week. Um, this is what the gunsmith currently has available as of this video, as well as for Ada. This section here lets you know what the Nightfall Weapon of the Week is, as well as the different um, modifiers for the week. Same thing with Volta Glass. And then so on and so forth with Lost Sectors, Xur, um, pretty much going down for what is actually happening in the Witch Queen at the moment. On the right hand side is the hot items. These are the items that uh, a lot of people want to actually try to get. Trending items are um, items that, or in this case, weapons that people are actually using. And then rising items are weapons that people aren't really using a lot, but are getting a little bit more play with. Then we have the patch notes for light.gg. And on the left hand side here, we have the season 16 leaderboard as well as the tweets from light.gg. As you can see, you can go to light.gg and you can actually add them on Twitter if you would like. However, the most important thing we want to do is go ahead and go into our vault and pick a weapon. And in this case, we're going to pick the servant leader and actually go ahead and look into it. So when you check out the weapons that you actually want to see how good the roll is, you're gonna go ahead and type in the name of the weapon, and then you are going to uh, press enter and then get a basic rundown of the weapon itself. So we have the name, the type of weapon, the fact that it's a kinetic weapon, it is a scout rifle, and then you will have the description of the weapon itself. Um, it does let you know that it is a 260 RPM weapon, and then also the type of frame that that weapon actually uses. Coming down, we have your weapon stats for the weapon. Now this is the basic stats for the weapon without any specific mods on it at all. Then we also have your perk playground. This is a nice little tool to actually use to find out um, how good your actually weapon is. I am going to go ahead and put in this one that I have. It has chamber compensator. Accurized Rounds, Outlaw, 
as well as Frenzy. Now, as you can see down here, for the perks selected, we have three different um, columns or three, th three different rows. Popularity overall, popularity perks, and popularity trait combo. Overall, it has an A. So this means that this specific servant leader is actually pretty good and that you should keep them. Um, my rule of thumb is if it is an A and above, or at least an A minus and above, it is worth keeping. If it is a B plus and below, you probably should get rid of it because there are better roles for out there for it. Coming on down, we do have the curated roles for this weapon. It is rapid fire frame, arrowhead break, steady rounds, tunnel vision, as well as multi-kill clip. Coming down further to the random roll section. Now, this is all the perks that can be rolled on this weapon. The gold indicates that it's good in PvE and PvP. The blue indicates that it's most likely better in PvE. And then the red indicates that it's um, good in PvP. And so, you can literally play around with this to determine where your role is, as well as utilize the perk playground to actually put in your specific roles for your specific weapon. It does not have to be servant leader. Coming down to popular trait combos. This is what people are actually looking for perks together in order to make the servant leader better. So the most popular currently is Surplus with Rampage. However, you can use any combination of these. Coming down to the popular individual perks. Now, I personally only look for perks that have green in them. Um, so the first row, the second row, and then the third row. Now, I normally only look for the first three rolls that have green on them however there are weapons out there that actually have good perks in them that go below the first three rows for example let's go ahead and look at the syncopation 53 So as you can see, I'm, like I said, I normally do the first three rows. However, this weapon has many good perks in the fourth column, as well as a little bit more in the third column. So it all depends on what you like. And when it comes to God rolls, it's personal preference. What you like may not be something someone else likes and so on and so forth. However, when it comes to barrels, I would use only these ones, uh, arrowhead break, corkscrew rifling as well as chamber compensator these are probably going to be your best barrels on this weapon syncopation is a pve weapon but yes you can still use it in pvp and be successful with it i've done it i've had friends that have done it so to each is on coming down we have the masterwork popularity this is the popularity uh obviously the masterwork popularity of this weapon a lot more people um actually like range on this weapon versus handling and anything else that you can get on it uh, when it comes to the uh, mods the majority of people are going to just go ahead and slap on full auto uh, coming down to your specific roles now when you log into light.gg and you sign in with your bungie.net account all of your roles specifically will pop up in this section now I have a A tier, I have a B tier, another B tier, a couple B tiers, a C tier, another A tier, and another A tier. Like I said before, anything that is A minus and above, I would keep. Anything that is um, B plus and below, I probably would get rid of. However, the syncopation is one of those weapons that you can actually craft. So you can actually have a S plus tier weapon um, syncopation. I haven't done it yet, but I do plan on doing one. And if it is a B plus tier and below, you can actually just go ahead and go into your vault and delete that weapon. Make sure you delete that specific weapon um, that you're looking for. And when it comes to deleting them, I will look for the power on the weapon first and then the perks next. Um, that way you delete the correct one that you want to delete. 
Um, besides going in game, I have used um, Dim or Destiny Item Manager to actually help delete weapons um, that I did not want. I would normally just transfer them to my character and instead of going into the vault on my character, just delete them from the character itself. Once again, this will help you get Legendary Shards, Glimmer, um, Enhancement Cores, possibly Enhancement Prisms, and even though it's small, it will help you get um, experience or reputation with the Gunsmith. And that is pretty much everything when it comes to Light.GG. Unfortunately, Light.GG doesn't really help that much when it comes to armor. For example, I am going to look up this simulator mask. And it doesn't really give you that much information about it, except for that it is a legendary, it is for the hunter, it is a head helmet, the description of the actual um, armor piece. And then you get minor details about the weapon here, but that's pretty much about it. And yes, it can be sold by Zerg. Or at least currently it can be sold by Zerg. When it comes to armor, my rule of thumb pretty much is anything that is a total of 60 or higher, I would keep. Anything that is 59 or below, I would delete. So for example, we are gonna go to my vault right now and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So we are here in the vault. I'm gonna head over to the armor. So I have a Braytech snow mask that is 64. I would keep that. And like I said, anything that is 60 or below, I mean 60 and above, I would keep. Anything that is um, 59 and below, I would get rid of. However, since my vault is actually um, kind of getting full, I might change that to 63 and above um, for the armor that I have. This specifically Tango Web's grip or Tango Web grip that is 56. I have no idea why I locked it, but I probably would go ahead and delete this. Um, I think the only reason why I did keep this is that because it does have a high discipline roll on it. But other than that, I probably would just go ahead and delete it. And I'm actually going to do that now. Gunsmith rank progress, legendary shards, as well as a little bit of glimmer. And that's pretty much it when it comes to clearing out everything and utilizing um, light.gg the best that you can. Let me know in the comment section if this video actually helped you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below as well. Unfortunately, as of this video, Light.gg does not have an actual app on iOS or Android, but you can make a tile on both platforms that is kind of like an app because it does have its own icon, but it's literally just a direct link to the website. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you. Watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go. Go, 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 go.